My name is Dusty Moore, and I'm president of ICEV, a division of CEV Multimedia. CEV Multimedia is an educational producer based out of Lubbock, Texas. We've been operating since 1984, and we actually started our founder and CEO was a meat scientist at Texas Tech University, and he discovered different challenges while he was teaching. Uh, two of the biggest challenges that he discovered was, number one, he didn't have the time, resources, or the logistics to be able to take his students to all the different field trips he needed them to see to be successful as a meat science student. The second issue that he had was that there were times where he was called upon to teach a subject matter that he didn't feel like he was the expert at. And he didn't want to shortchange his students by not having the expert in the classroom talking to him. When cost-effective, affordable video in the form of VHS came along, he capitalized on that and said, this is how I can teach students better. I can go across the country shooting field trips, uh, shooting different things I want my students to see, and then put it in front of the students. Video was a more effective tool for him to be able to teach his students. We started off as a publisher of agricultural science educational videos. From there we've grown to really be one of the largest producers of career and technical education multimedia content. And the next step was for us to move online. And so that led to the new ICEV product line, which is basically a streaming version of CEV's entire library. Uh, all of our content, all of our curriculum on demand where teachers can, can stream it to their classroom. When we looked at our options on how to move our whole library online, really we, we chose Kaltura for three factors ease of use, cost effectiveness, and scalability. We could not keep up technologically with the changes in devices, the changes in platforms, changes in software, et cetera, et cetera. We needed a partner that we could rely on that was up to date whenever window, the new windows came out, you know, our, our, our product still worked. And so with Kaltura it looked like, it seemed like the ease of use was there. It was very simple for us to take our whole library get it uploaded and then within one year we've got a product that basically we're out there and teachers are utilizing. The second thing was cost effectiveness and, and the third thing was scalability. You know those two kind of inter intertwine to some degree but you know obviously our customer base for the ICEV product line the day we launched was at zero and so we had to have a company that would grow with us that would allow us to be flexible in how we grew the business and how we grew our subscriber base. And with Kaltura, we've seen nothing but good things in regards to helping us out with that. Currently, we're using the Kaltura Management Console as well as the Media Space application for running our ICEV product line. We utilize the Kaltura Management Console as basically our back end of our system. It holds all of the videos, it holds all the metadata, you know, basically it is what runs our system. And the media space application is what really pushes it out to our end user in an easy to use format. What excites me the most and what excites our company the most about online video and ICEV is just how far it can go. Just how many people that it can touch, how many people it can impact. The other exciting piece, and maybe this comes from uh, from market research and from, from that standpoint, but the data. We've never had that ability before. We've never had data at our fingertips. We've had sales data. You know, the, this person utilize, you know, purchased this course or this person purchased this DVD, but we've never had the data on if they're using it and how they're using it and how effective it is. All that data came from basically us interacting with the customer and basically saying, so how'd you like it? With this, we actually get true metrics, true data that we can analyze and make our product better to better serve teachers and students. When you look at the importance of video and education, we think it boils down to three factors. Number one is the content. The content has to be good, engaging content. What we always say about YouTube whenever we're doing presentations or talking with teachers is the great thing about YouTube is it allows everybody to be a publisher. And the horrible thing about YouTube is it allows everybody to be a publisher. So you have people publishing materials that are being taught in classrooms that aren't academically correct. There are falsities in the videos. 
What we look at is you have to have content that has been academically reviewed and accepted and easy for a teacher to use. The other part of content is it has to be quality content in regards to how it's shot, how it's edited, the lighting, the narration, the music. All of those factor into how a student learns with that piece of video. The second thing that we look at is technology. Schools have to continue to increase their technology. In the past few years, you, you wouldn't have been able to stream video the way you're doing it right now. And so as long as we continue to increase the technology in the schools and the technology of the publishers continue to increase, then the power of video becomes that much greater. The third thing that we look at is the instructor or the educator. Training those instructors and training the educators. You know, again, you have to make a tool simple to utilize, but you also have to teach them and work with them on how to create and how to teach with those tools. To us, th those are the three things that are really going to impact online video in the classroom.